there folks, I'm Tristan from Korg Australia, here with the Korg B1, and here's why it's a great choice for your first digital piano. Studies have shown a whole range of benefits to learning a musical instrument, especially for young ones. These include improved memory and coordination, as well as assistance with reading, concentration, and time management skills. Not to mention things like overall positivity and self-confidence. If you're just starting out, it's really important to have an instrument to practice on that you're actually going to enjoy playing. We'd all like to own a real grand piano, but this isn't always practical or realistic. To begin with, they're expensive, heavy, and take up a lot of space. Digital pianos, on the other hand, are generally much cheaper, lighter, and smaller. And being able to plug in headphones for silent use is a must for anyone who doesn't live by themselves in a cave. So what makes a digital piano enjoyable to play? Well, when you sit down in front of an acoustic piano, the only two things that really matter are the feel of the keys and the sound that's produced by playing the keys. And that's where a lot of effort has been put into the B1. You're given 88 weighted keys that feel just like a piano and eight different instrument sounds, including three acoustic pianos. As you can see from the streamlined front panel, the Korg B1 intentionally keeps the feature set to a minimum to focus squarely on the core playing experience. The aim here is to provide the best possible acoustic piano emulation, whilst keeping the price as low as possible. The sound button cycles through the eight onboard instrument sounds, and the piano play button it takes you back to the default acoustic piano if you get lost. Acoustic pianos are big heavy contraptions with huge wooden soundboards to amplify the sound of the strings. And recreating the sound on a device as compact as the B1 is not easy. Thankfully, a really nice pair of stereo speakers are built in, so every instrument sound is reproduced with a lot of depth and realism. One of the most underappreciated and underutilized tools at a musician's disposal is the metronome. So having one built right into the piano that can be initiated with a push of a button is super convenient. Holding down the piano play and the sound buttons together activates function mode during which certain discreetly marked piano keys are now used to customize the metronome's behavior, including volume, tempo, and time signature. Another aspect that people don't often think about when buying a piano is the pedal situation. An acoustic piano has three pedals, although many non-classical players often go their whole life only ever using the rightmost pedal, known as the damper or sustain pedal. So this is the one that's usually included with portable pianos. Typically, this is just a square piece of plastic, but Korg were kind enough to include with the B1 a large piano style pedal, which feels and behaves just like an acoustic piano's pedal. For those who want to progress down the classical piano path, Korg do make an optional triple pedal, that attaches easily to the B1. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments section below and stay tuned for more exciting and exclusive content.